What's up everybody, this is Chev. Welcome to Modern Tune. So today we're working on the 2004 WRX wagon. We're gonna be installing these one inch spacers in the rear. So a common problem with these Subarus is they like to squat in the rear over time and especially with these wagons resulting in a saggy butt. So luckily there's a great aftermarket for these cars and uh, I think it was a hundred bucks for these HDPE plastic spacers uh, that we're going to be installing today. So yeah, as you can see the rear wheel gap here is uh, a lot smaller and we're going to do something about that. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at the spacers. So this is from a company called Subtle, Subtle Solutions and they make these really nice kits with all the hardware included uh, instructions and it makes everything really simple so uh, basically we just got to take the rear struts out uh, take the old studs out of the top plate and then we're going to sandwich in this bolt with this nut and these lock washers and then this spacer is going to fit right on top of the strut and there's a little recessed area here for that nut to go so pretty straightforward install um, and while we're back here I'm also going to be installing these uh, rear mud flaps here I've had these on a couple of Subarus already I made these out of a semi truck mud flap so we'll be putting those on so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get this thing jacked up and see what we're working with All right, we got the rear wheels off. Let's take a look at what we got. So I haven't been back here in a while and definitely some surface rust and stuff going on. But yeah, there's a strut. We're going to get that out right now. All right, so to get these off is pretty simple. So we just got these three bolts up top here and then we go underneath. We just got these two bolts on the strut here. So I'm going to try to hopefully get these off with the impact wrench. Uh, sometimes these can be pretty tough, especially when you live in the north. So anyways, let me just put this down for a second. All right, so that's why the Milwaukee Impact is the best tool in my garage. So I got those bolts off super easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those bolts out and I'm gonna get these bolts off and hopefully we have a strut. All right, so I may have spoken a little too soon. Uh, I got both struts off now, but that second side was an absolute pain to get off. Uh, you can see the aftermath here. I won't get into it too much, but it went a little bit like this. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Bitch. Fucker. Bitch ass motherfucker. But, anyways, uh, I got these spring compressors I rented from the parts store. Uh, we're going to get the spring compressed, so... We can get these studs out and replace them with our new ones. So anyways, let's get to it.
All right, guys, so I got this top hat off, and like everything else on this car, uh, it is hit with rust. So I went ahead and I just cut these uh, studs off with a cutoff wheel, and I'm just going to hammer them out. You can see I already got this one out. So I got this little jig set up. It's just two pieces of metal to raise it up off the table. We're just going to set it here and hit it. Smash, smash, smash. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. So for hardware, we have a bolt, two lock washers, and a nut. So we're gonna put the first lock washer on and then put it in. And then the second lock washer and the nut. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones in. Alrighty, so now we have all of our hardware in and it is looking good. So now we have our HDPE plastic spacer here. And like I said before, is we have these recessed areas and that's where that nut's gonna go. So anyways, I'm gonna put this on. My top hats were a little bent up, so probably gonna be a little more difficult but we'll get it all right so I got the struts reassembled and everything is looking really good that second one went a lot smoother there was a lot less rust to deal with and I was able to pound the studs out without having to cut them. Nice. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get these reinstalled back in the car. And we'll get it back on the ground and see what it looks like. Alright, so it's the moment of truth. The struts are in and ready to go. We got our mud flaps installed and they are looking great. Uh, so just a forewarning, if you're going to do this project, it is a bit of a struggle to get those struts back in and lined up. Just with that extra space in there, it makes it more difficult, but definitely doable. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing back on the ground and see what it looks like. I'll just set the camera down. Look at that wheel gap. That is looking way better. Super happy with the results. Uh, and it probably will settle a little bit uh, when I drive it. So yeah, that is good. Um, anyways guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one.